Yeah, this is a pinnacle event for Region 4 and in U.S. Youth Soccer. It's always an exciting time of year, uh, not only for our state associations, but for the region uh, to be here in Arizona. Tremendous weather, tremendous facility here at Reach 11, and uh, you know the quality of play is uh, always so high. We get to see great competition, so we get to see where we land in comparison to the rest of the country, which we don't get to do um, often, so it's, it's awesome to come out and see the competition. Um, seeing people that I saw at the Region 4 camp and playing against really high-level teams are a good experience for us. It's a great event, it's a great setting, great complex. Arizona's doing a tremendous job in the hosting. Play is going well. It's warm here compared to the rest of the country, so all positives. And uh, the fields are in great condition. Um, it's a great time of year to come down here. Kids are getting the opportunity to get a little sun in the middle of winter, so I think it's just a win-win win -win situation. Well, you couldn't ask for better weather and a more beautiful complex. We've got some of the best teams in the country here, some of the best and most talented soccer players. The play today has been uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. I've uh, enjoyed it. Uh, the teams here are very competitive, and I think it's a thing that we do to help improve the game and bring it to more people. Yeah, it's just a great experience for us coming from Idaho. It's a, just a real eye-opener for the girls in terms of the intensity and level of competition. Uh, it's great team bonding. And we got to make a lot of friends along the way, um, especially because like, we don't play a lot together, so we all got to like have a friendship together for the rest of our life. ODP has really, really come into its own over the last several years, and it's it's developed um, kind of from a nucleus. And actually, in Region Four, we're just re-engineering a lot of ODP um, in terms of uh, new ODP leadership at the region level. We've ramped up the uh, the uh, curriculum in terms of more emphasis on the technical pieces. You know, we've taken a broader view of uh, it's more individual based and not so much team based. I think all of that is very positive, as well as adding uh, the modern elements of the current updated player development initiatives. And all of that is real positive for the kids, and the fact that it gives them an opportunity to have more friendships across the 14 states, and exposure to college coaches is fabulous. The program is super valuable for players from our state. Um, it provides great levels of coaching. It brings together the best players from all the clubs in our state and it allows them to compete under our state's banner. You know, the program, it just, it's so good for these kids. So many kids uh, come here and their first, ex some of them, their first experience of really high level soccer. So uh, at first it's uh, overwhelming to them a little bit, but it's like anything else. The more they're on the field against good competition, they grow. Yeah, it's really fun. It's a really good experience to be able to play with really good players and see how other people Stand compared to you. A lot of games playing high level players and consistently helps your players develop, and that's what you come here for. It's always very well run. The competition is always uh, top class, and for a state like Nevada, this is where we want to try and get the, you know, the best players together and get the experience of competing against um, the best in, in the West region. I love playing, like, uh, especially California teams and uh, Hawaii. They're very challenging and uh, just to. Uh, bring us to our top level. Um, it's a great experience from, from everything that I've heard from the kids, from the parents who are here supporting, from the grandparents that drive from various places to come down. Um, it's a lifetime experience.